Hi everyone, today we are going to play around a bit with Git and GitHub and see what that can look like. So I'm going to be following a step-by-step um, -step tutorial that after I'm done I'm going to publish to all of you guys so you can follow along with this video. But if I go too fast or you need to repeat steps, you also have a written instruction down as well. So let's try to get through this. And if there are any mistakes, I'll change them along the way in the text. So you have that available if you need it. So step one here is to install Git and GitHub, which I have already done in a previous video. Hopefully you've watched that. If you haven't, this is the time to install Git and to uh, get account get an account on github so when we're done with that we're going to go to our github account and create a new repository so let's follow along here we go super so i'm already logged in so i just got straight to the main page my main dashboard so what we start off by doing is clicking the plus sign up here and new repository. We click on public because we want to be able to find these so that we can check what you've been doing. Um, and because this isn't that type of course, it's going to give you necessarily any um, problems in the future. It doesn't really matter technically if you hand stuff in. But it is helpful to get feedback and to see if you've understood things the way you have. Uh, the way you should, because in the future, this is all going to be, this is all made so that you can use it for the future. So if you've understood it now, you have a bit of an advantage when it comes to this fall. So I'm going to name my repository, my project sort of, test. There we go, it's public and you can all just ignore this for now. And we click create repository. So here is my repository. For now, there's nothing here. It's completely empty. And it gives you instruction on how to create repositories or how to add code here, um, which you can try and follow along or you can uh, follow along with what we're doing. It's up to you, whatever you think, think is easier. Well, what we're going to do now is we are going to copy this URL over here. And we are going to now go to our computer. I'm going to do everything on the desktop so that it's easy to see and so that we don't have to um, move around. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> this is live after all. Okay, so we create a new folder right here and we are going to name it folder because creativity. Go into this. And we can actually start our uh, git bash from inside a folder and then you don't have to navigate to it in the terminal so you do that by right clicking or shift right clicking and open git bash here so as you can see we are in the correct folder here so now we are going to copy down this here onto our computer using the terminal. So what we do is we type git clone and we paste in, not this, and we paste in this right here, the URL. And they warn us that we have appeared to clone an empty repository, which is true, it's completely empty. So what does it look like here? There you have the Git folder. Now, it's kind of like half transparent here because it's a hidden folder. And usually uh, you don't see the hidden folders. And this is something that you need to intentionally turn on for your computer to show you your hidden folders. So think about that. If you don't see it, it's all right. Google how to show hidden folders on your computer, follow the steps you find, and you should then see this. Okay, so now we have this. And what do we do now? We are going to add a file to this repository. So let's do that. We are going to create a new text document and I'm going to name it after a current hyperfixation of mine, 
So we're going to name it, and don't judge me, Taylor Swift, because yes, and we don't want it updated right now. There we go. And now we have a file in our folder here. So what do we do now? Give me a second. We need to go into this folder over here. So we type in CD, change directory, test. And remember, you can tab in to go into here. And let's see what we have here. We have the file, awesome. And now we are going to check the Git status of this. How is our Git currently looking? Okay, we're on our main branch, which means that we are on our main project. We haven't saved anything, we haven't made any commits, and we have an untracked file. So what does that mean? That means that we have a file that we haven't told Git that we want to upload, that we want to push to our project, our repository. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add this file, sorry, the cheat sheet over here. Um, we're going to add this file uh, and tell Git that we want to push this up. So git add and we type in the file name. So once again, you can use tab to um, to autocomplete, sorry. <laughs> um, you can also type in git add and then a space and dot, which will add every file. So now we specify one file and um, st space and dot means every file. We're not gonna do that right now, but you can try it out if you want. We're going to see if our git status has changed. It looks like there are changes that we want to save, that we want to commit. So that's this is what we're going to do now. But I am going to, let's see here. I'm going to type in git commit dash M. And this stands for message. So this is a, a message that you can send to anyone or yourself who's going to be seeing these saves. So I'm going to name this, sorry. I'm going to name this uh, first commit. There we go. One insertion. One thing has been put into a place where we can save it. Actually, one thing has been saved and now we need to upload it and that is called pushing something. But before you ever push up, you always want to try to remember to pull, to get all the changes that are saved somewhere in the current form that they are, and then you push up whatever you have. And this will lead to fewer headaches in the future. So I'm going to git pull whatever is up there. And this is just a, you don't need to worry too much about uh, this message here. And now we're going to type in git push. There we go. Now let's check our GitHub over here and we update. And now we have our file here with our message, when it was done. And we can even go in and see what we've done here. Um, right now I'm going to deviate a teeny tiny bit from the tutorial. The next steps I'm going to show you are not going to be included in the tutorial and you don't have to do them unless you want to try things out. So bear with me. What is my current favorite song? I like Maroon. So we're going to save it. And once again, I'm going to cycle through my previous commands and I'm going to add this. I'm going to commit and I'm going to type in second commit. Let's see our status, git status. My branch is ahead of the main branch by one commit. So I have something on my project that isn't 
upload it into the main project. Okay. And now we're going to git push. Now let's see what happens up here. We go back. We have our second commit. And we have our added changes to the same file. We also have two commits. So we can actually see our entire history of all the commits we have ever done here. Pretty sweet for oh, pretty sweet for uh, keeping track of changes you do and things that um, happen throughout your project. And this is not exclusive to just me. Anyone who has the URL and has permission to upload to this can do it. So you can be four people working on one project at the same time. And this is why Git and version control is so super powerful. So we are going to do a new repository. Actually, we're going to continue on with the main tutorial. So we are going to do a new repository, but instead of starting from GitHub and cloning it down to our computer, we're going to start on our computer and push it up. So let's see here. First, we are going to create a folder and we're going to name it directory. And in here, we are once again going to open our git bash. And we're going to create our git straight away here. So we're just going to type in git init. And as you can see, we have gotten the uh, .git file right here, or .git folder right here. So now we are going to create something here. And uh, let's just go on theme. Why not? We're going to go with um, uh, Midnight's because that's a really good apple. And we are going to write red 19. There we go. Now we have some text in our uh, full, our file. And now we are going to add these files to our git using the command I previously mentioned, which is git add all. Let's see our status, git status. We are on our master branch. We haven't committed anything, but we have put, put up some changes to be committed, to be saved, our new file. So let's do a git commit. Let's save it now. And we're going to name this my first commit uh, from local. There we go. Now we're going to go back into our GitHub and create a new repository. So we're going to name this test2. We're going to have it public and we're going to create that. And see here it's empty. What we're going to do now is we're going to copy this URL again. Checking the cheat sheet. Now here we're going to type in git remote add origin origin and here you're going to paste in the repository url like that and now the terminal is a bit icky in the sense that it doesn't give you feedback it's just like okay and you don't know what's happened so you need to check and you can do that by typing in git remote dash v and here you see the origin right here. Now, in order to make this work, we need to type in 
git push dash u origin master like so if you need to uh, type in your credentials such as your email or your username that's them verifying that you are you I don't have that right now and I can't show you that right now because I've already identified and verified myself so I've already when I've tried doing this gotten a message of who are you what's your what's your password what's your email go ahead and do that so that you your computer git is linked with your github git now git status nothing to commit your branch is up to date meaning that everything that you have on your computer is the same that is up on github let's go and take a look see shall we there we go everything that I typed up and now if we go to my user beautiful image I have my first repo that I created I believe at some other time but we also have a test one and test two you can click here work on this one and you can also click here and have this one up And that is it for this tutorial. Um, play around with it, have fun. This is your space. You can always just delete your account and create a new one if you mess things up really bad. But this is something that's going to follow you for every single assignment and in your workspace. This is how we share code as programmers. This is our version of Dropbox or OneDrive or Google Drive. Um, and it is super powerful and being comfortable with this is going to give you uh, a really big advantage in working with code. I've, I've known some people who learn programming who don't even learn how to work with this until after they finish school. So this is very good to know and be comfortable with. So have fun, play around with it and good luck. And don't forget to uh, message us and be loud if there's something that's wrong, something that doesn't work or something that we haven't accounted for. Because you have to remember, everybody's computer is a little bit different. We all have different settings and it's super hard to know how one computer is going to react. So the whole it doesn't work on my machine is, is valid. So if you have any problems, please, please let us know. And bye bye for now.